It was a few weeks after the crime had been committed and uh, Carlos de Luna had been arrested and charged with capital murder in regards to this case. The uh, information that we got that uh, Carlos Hernandez had gotten someone else uh, to take a fall for him in, in regards to this crime. Approximately two or three weeks, there was talk from a couple of my informants that uh, the person that they had arrested for this particular crime was not the person that had committed the crime. Uh, the person that had actually committed the crime was Carlos Hernandez, and Carlos de Luna was the person that was being held for the crime itself. And these informants, like I said, relied on information that they had received by talking to some of the people that they congregate with in the streets. I contacted the detective in charge and informed uh, uh, of the information that I had received, uh, but uh, the detective itself said that they had enough evidence linking Carlos de Luna to the crime itself. So I just backed away from it and uh, uh, let their work her case. And so I knew that there was a Carlos Hernandez. If somebody got up and testified that there was no Carlos Hernandez, there sure was, and I can testify to that because I arrested him several times. Carlos Hernandez was mostly always assaulting women, assaulting guys, and uh, his weapon of choice was a knife. He always had a knife on him. And uh, most of the time it was uh, cutting up people or hitting them with a beer bottle or something. But uh, he was always involved in, in mostly violent crimes. Uh, the crime scene itself was not processed properly. There could have been someone else identified as committing the crime. And there was uh, evidence that was stepped on by the investigator uh, that was at the scene. And to me, uh, if you just stay out of a crime scene and talk to the witnesses outside and secure the scene and let just identification take, whether it be one day, two days, or three days, just to be at that scene, processing the scene, I think that the results of this case would have been totally different. There was too much evidence that could have been obtained that was never even touched. There had to be one stain of blood somewhere, as much blood as it's at that crime scene, there had to be one speck of blood that they could have connected. Carlos de Luna, yes, you were at the crime scene. This blood matches Wanda Lopez. And that was not there. That if I was sitting in a jury, I could not convict with the evidence that was presented in court, with the evidence that was collected, I could not uh, assure anyone that that was the person that committed that crime. There was always a doubt in my mind, there will be a doubt in my mind, because after going through all the evidence that was presented, I don't see how anybody could get a conviction with the evidence that was available to convict Carlos de Luna of this capital murder case.